Okay, ladies. Go inside. Come on, you three. In you go. You've had your breakfast. The next storm's coming later today. So, in you, uh, go on. Go on. Good girl. Okay, they have plenty of hay. They're fine for the next storm. This one that happened last night and this morning. Very wet, isn't it? Isn't it very wet? Yeah. Okay, very squelchy underfoot. Ugh, I'm walking over that. Look at that. Anyway, this is my wood ash. So this is from branches and trees that have died or have fallen here on the farm. And what I'm doing is I come out and I look for thistles. And thistles are a sign. When I came home, by the way, this was a crop of thistles. It was really, really bad. So over the years, what I do is I know there's a couple of big thistles just up here. There's ones over there, but I've already treated them. And I basically, it's a very simple treatment because where thistles are growing, it means the soil wants some potash. So what I do is I give them homegrown potash. Homegrown trees. And there's another one up here somewhere. I saw it yesterday. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Ah, bless my soul. Anyway, there we go. So that will treat the soil for what it needs and the thistle won't grow. So it's a kind of natural way of um, disrupting the reason that the thistle is growing is because the soil is lacking something. So if we learn what the soil is lacking, we don't have to poison. See, I'm walking up through here to see if there are any more thistles. And wherever, through the winter, I will slowly, to empty my ash, I slowly go around and find where thistles are growing and empty the bucket of ash. And this feeds the soil. It's much easier when you see the plate thistles. Those were the ones that I just did previous. Other thistles, they're kind of like that, but they have their roots in the ground. So, see there's three here. There we go, those three. So these are different species of thistles. So you have to, where thistles are growing, treat the soil. And this will slowly seep into the soil and the issue will resolve itself. Anyway, look at this hawthorn. This is just so magnificent. Here, I'm gonna thump this over this thistle here. Not very much, but anyway, the bucket's empty. This hawthorn. Oh, and don't you like my compost? Vegetables grown out of that stuff. It's like black gold. Magnificent compost. That's a mixture of manure, urine, wood chip, straw, and hay. So I've got two piles of it. This one's two years old. Look at that. 
Isn't that just fantastic? That is just glorious in the color, in the morning sun. Get right in close. Look at that. Now, you can tell the birds have been eating because there's lots of them on the ground. So they're plucking what they need and dropping some of them as well. Hey, kitty. Yeah, how are you? Yeah, it's a beautiful sunny morning. It was very wet earlier, wasn't it? Very wet indeed. Yeah, you're such a beautiful kitty. And the winter trees are out now in their wonderful black silhouettes. Hey girls. I'm gonna let you guys out for a little while before the next storm comes. Good girl, yeah. Okay, you guys are gonna stay in because you're better off being inside rather than getting wet and coming inside. So I gotta close this gate. The horses are up there. But this that I was trying to do, just the birds kept plucking it, looking for insects underneath. So what I started to do is just, see this one landed here. What I started to do is just slot them in there. And you can see I've planted all the way along this wall, all these succulents. I can put more up along there, but the birds are just not allowing this to happen. So that's kind of annoying. So I've got to close this gate now. Oh, and the clip. I've left the clip on the wall. Anyway, the dogs are always curious when I'm scuffling around the base of a wall, thinking I'm finding a rat or a mouse or a shrew. So I went and got one of these after a few weeks of dealing with the wire one. Whoa! That is so slippery. It is so wet. Come on, Java. Pop, pop. Come on, good boy, clever boy. We had torrential rain overnight. So everything is like grease. And if you're not a four-legged creature or a bird with claws in your feet, you're likely to slip and fall. It's very slick. Hey kitty, where are you? Oh, there you are. Yes, beautiful kitty. Giddy. Yeah, I know you missed breakfast earlier. You didn't come in. Yeah, no, I know it was very early in the morning. You were still in your bed, probably wherever that was. Whoop. Hello. Yeah. I got up around half five, or I woke up at around half five when the wind started. and Went out and did the animals early. And then we had a few hours of torrential rain and wind. And then we're gonna have again this afternoon, this evening, same again. More torrential wind and rain and more muckiness. Very mucky early winter this year. I'm trying to read my book. You're not being very good about letting me read my book. Now your muddy feet have muddied my book. <laughs> so much for reading my book. 
It just doesn't want me to read my book. I'm being loved by my cat. You loving me too much. Hmm? I can read my book now that the cat's in the lap. <laughs> now the dog wants up. Come on. Come on. It's not just one dog. It's two dogs. <laughs> no rest for the wicked. <laughs> Isn't that right? <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. You're so sweet. <laughs> huh. That's a very old Coca Cola can. They had the pull tab on it. When you pulled and chucked away, that must have been churned up out of the soil by the horses. Anyway, the wind's picking up. The sun might still be shining, but I gather this next storm has tornadoes. At least up in Leitrim they have, which is northwest of us. So I'm gonna get the horses in now. I still have my broken up voice. <clears throat> Come on, girls! Come on! Out of girls! Come on! Good old Ishka leading the way in. And Grasshopper. Come on! Out of girls! You hear me calling the horses. Oh, here they come. Here comes Miss Daisy Rose, trot trotting away. Clever girl. Brindle, leave her. Leave her. Yeah, the wind is picking up. It's definitely picking up. Woohoo! The gusts. Yep. Okay, I better go close the horses in. Yikes, I'm gonna slip. 